Hi everyone and welcome back to Carpal Counseling. So I'm here uh, with Aubrey and Patrick and we're going to talk about feelings and the element. Ugh. And so uh, what I want you to do is I want you to, to quickly uh, tell me five feelings words. Ready, set, go. Five feelings what? Words. Words? Oh. Uh, anxiety, happiness, sadness, anger, and joy. Okay, Patrick. Take all the good ones. Keep going, keep going. Um, five, five more. Uh, depressed, um, joyful, uh, uh, tired, lethargic, um, fear. So it's harder than it sounds, huh? Because we think, oh yeah, five feelings were a big deal, right? So what I've learned in the course of some 18 years of doing therapy is that people use typically five feeling words. They use happy, sad, mad, um, angry, um, glad, you know, but just basic, just real basic. So they say, man, I'm just so mad. Or I'm, oh yeah, I'm super happy. But but the, the, our vocabulary is like super, super small. And so when people get in an argument, they're like, oh, they just made me so mad. And it's like, well, um... Can you expound on that a little bit? Well, you know, what, what, what makes you mad? So, so what are other words for mad? Patrick. Uh, no looking it up on your... I'm not looking it up on my phone. Uh, He's reading his book back empty. there. Uh, other words for mad, huh? Yeah. Upset. Okay. Um, furious. Okay, good. Good. Okay, and um, so what about you, Aubrey? What what are some other words for happy? For happy? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, okay. Joyful, ecstatic. Um, I don't know if exuberant would be one. Um, sure. It's weird when you break it down like that. Mm -hmm. Giddy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Cheerful. Yeah, see, he's beating me. <laughs> yeah, that's because he's not under the gun. So yeah. He, are you looking it in your book? It's actually your, in your book. book. Oh, 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 because in the back of the book, actually, there's a yeah. list. There's an actual list in the back of the book um, of, of feelings words because the whole point is <laughs> you're so, so a cheater. Um, and so, like, disappointed, frustrated. Now, so frustrated is a word, and by the way, I'm, this is a pet peeve of mine. It's not frustrated, it's frustrated. So, those yes. of you who don't know how to enunciate clearly, it's frustrated. So th that's an, that's one of the words that um, gets used a lot. However, th the challenge is, uh, so I, I was talking to somebody once and they said, I realized that my, my I get super angry when I'm frustrated. That that, that that feeling of frustration is what really makes me that that super angry. And um, and then later on, I, I said, wow, you look like you're kind of mad. And they go, no, I'm just frustrated. I'm, just, I'm, just frustrated. I'm like, okay, but you told me before that when you're frustrated, it's like that's when you get like super, super mad. And so it's it's important, especially in relationships, that you spend time thinking about the words that you use and, and how you define them and be more specific about what you are feeling. And most people will say, oh, I feel like they should. Well, that, that's what you're thinking. You think they should do X or, um, and, you know, I think, I think he needs to be more obedient. I think, I feel like they should listen to me more. Um, but you can feel disrespected. That's a feeling. So really learning how to use more feeling words and um, and explaining to people what you mean by that is, is really helpful. So what do you think about that? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just wonderful. And you can always get the book out and look at the list and on... Um, um, in the back, it's in the, like Appendix A, I think. Um, it's just this list. And so what I did, I went on Facebook and I actually asked, so I wouldn't plagiarize anybody else's feelings list. And I said, okay, I need you guys to just uh, give me some feelings words. And I just let, let it sit there for like a week. And then it took all of the words that people um, put on that post and put it in the back of the book. And so a wide variety of feelings. And so I tell people, learn, we're always telling little kids, use your words, use your words. And so I tell adults, let's, let's learn how to do what we're asking our children to do and then increase our vocabulary. So hopefully this was helpful for you and I'll see you soon. Say bye guys. Bye. And it doesn't want to shut off. No, no. no. it doesn't <laughs> like my finger. <gasps>